Okay, let's do some quick, simple workflow to this image. First thing I'm going to do is a defog, which is filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. And we're going to go 20 for the amount, 60 for the radius. All that does is just takes away that little bit of haze, as you can see right there. Perfect. We do this to all our images. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the color. Uh, and I'm going to adjust the skin tone. So I'm going to go to Image Adjustments selective color. Now this default says in the red and I'm just going to slowly remove some of the cyan right about there. Perfect. Now I'm going to do a little bit of retouching. I like to use the clone stamp for this. So I'm just going to go into the lighten mode and a low opacity around 23 and I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to go underneath the eyes. Let's choose that. There we go. And just a little up here. And I'm going to go opposite. I'm going to go darken. And a little bit of shine on the forehead here from the kicker light. And again. Now I'm going to take the normal and I'm going to beef this the opacity up to about 70. And I'm just going to take away some of the flyaway hairs here. All right, next I'm going to use my dodge tool. And in the midtones, at a nice low opacity, I'm just going to come in on the eyes. And I'm going to beef up the catch lights just a bit too. Now I noticed down on the collar here, he's got a little bit of a white spot. So again, with my clone stamp in darken, with a low opacity, I'm just going to come in and there we go, just like that. And I might do a little bit here. Perfect. Now I'm going to burn around the edges and I'm going to use my burn tool and I'm going to start in highlight mode. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a an edge. Just something so that when I go into mid-tone mode, the mid-tone burn has something to bite down on. Perfect. Just like that. Now I'm going to open up my levels. And I'm just going to tweak them just a bit. A little bit of contrast in here. Perfect. Now I'm going to add a step up border and a, uh, a step mount to it. So I'm going to choose black as my background. And I'm going to go into my canvas size. And I'm going to go 0 0.05 of an inch on both. And then I'm going to switch it to white, and I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to go about three inches on each. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm going to go back one more, and I'm going to put a bigger, let's go 0.1. There we go. And I'm going to press X to switch my background color. And go into canvas size, and again, three inches and three inches. Perfect. And now I'm going to sharpen it. I'm going to go filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. And I'm going to bring my amount all the way up to 500. And I'm going to highlight my radius. And I'm going to use my cursor keys and I'm going to go up at one increment at a time. And that was a little, so about 0.2 is where it. Point two gave me that nice bit of snap. And that's about it. So we go from there to there. Pretty quick and simple.